Again, welcome to Public Health GIS PH775. This, this lecture is covered the data manipulation concept. So our main objective is to discuss geographical data selection, geographical data query, and geographical data relationships. So whenever we perform a join in GIS, we are able to relate spatial data with non-spatial data. This enable users to show the non-spatial data in a map and also answer the question such as, where does it occur? So for example, we have our data set. This is the attribute data set with its attribute. And this is related shows in our map with the dots. So again, there's a relationship here between both uh, spatial and again, non-spatial data. Now, when we are joining two or more relations, we use what we call the relation operators. Relation operators are less than, equal, less than or equal, greater, greater than, equal, or does not equal. So example here, we may say an area is less than 400,000. So again, we want to focus on this very area based on the size of it. Now in database management system, we have something called the sequential query language. And we normally use this relation, relation operators to, again to write queries. Example is we can write a select query whereby we want to select a specific, let's say students that live in bronze. So I may write a query and I will specify that it's equal, the city is equal to bronze. Or maybe customers that spend less than $1,000. So I'll write a query where customers spend less than 1000 So this example is that we use all these relational operators to create a query. So in our previous, we write a query whereby we select an area that is less than 400000 So we can see our data set, the red areas, are all the areas that again are less than or that meet the condition here. And they are shown on the map, which is the red areas. Next is the spatial selection by attribute condition. Now here we define a selection condition on the feature, features attributes in a query such as SQL. That's a sequential query language. Uh, this is a script language, which is again used a lot in database system. So we always have to have a condition, for example, select customers from the relation table. And then where will be the condition where maybe bronze or the area is less than 400,000. So again, spatial selection by attribute conditions our condition is that the area is less than 400,000. And normally we call these queries as select queries. So we define a selection condition on the features attributes in a query language such as SQL. Now this would display, when we run this query, it would display the result both on the map and also in the attribute table. So we may answer questions such as, where are the features with the following? or where these uh, patients are from, or their locations. Now, location selection queries, we have four types here. We have intercept. Uh, here we can see that our green circles intercept with a yellow, which means take again, intercept together. Then we have are within a distance of. So in this case, we have our red dots, that's uh, within a specific distance. Let's say the beginning to the end, whatever the distance is. Then a contain means in this case, we have our yellow boxes and we can see the objects contained in the area, the yellow boxes. Then we say are contained by, also we can see. So we shall go through each of them. Now here we say that the spatial relationships are the way that things are placed in relation to one another. So as we saw it in a previous example, 
So in geography, spatial relationships are very important to understand because they can help explain why certain things are located where they are. Now, we also have three main types of spatial relationships, proximity, adjacency, and also contiguity. Now, proximity means that things are close to one another and adjacent things are next to each other and also contagious things are in contact with each other. Now, understanding these three concepts is important for understanding why certain things are located where they are. So a good example here is a city may be located near a river because the land is flat and it is easy to build on. Or a city might be located near a mountain because it is a good place to build a fort. Now with special selection by attribute conditions, as we said, we can use relational operators. Relational operators can give us one conditions. Now, if we have more than one conditions, we can use the logical operators. So logical operators are and operator or and not. And and or is called the binary operators because we need a minimum of two conditions in order to again. Then we can also combine attribute conditions. Now, spatial selection by locations, such as we can select features that are inside selection objects, or we can select features that intersect. We can also select features that is adjacent to selection objects, or we can select features based on their distance. So example of a selection using the inside relationship, we can see that in picture one, this is again a Georgia, state of Georgia is selected. And this is the selection object. Now in picture two, we can see that all the cities that are inside this state are also selected. Now data in GIS is very interactive. We may have a data whereby the data will be on a map, but also it has its attributes. So here we have the red data there. It can show on a map and also it can be in a relation or a table. Now combining various selection techniques, here we have attribute selection, means we select example hospitals in the building layer or selection using topological relationship here we are going to select all roads that are within a distance of 200 meters from the selection in the building layer. Then the attribute selection, example be from the selected road, we select the major roads. So question like selecting all major roads that are located within a distance of 200 meters from a hospital. And here we have the example of area less than 400,000 and the land use is 80. So N is an, again, a logical operator. So this means we have to select an area less than 400,000 and also the land use should be 80. And this will be the result. We can see the land use are 80 and also the area is less than 400,000. Those are the red. Now, if we say we're selecting area that is less than 400 or the land use is 80, this means we can select any area that is less than 400 and the land use can be any amount. Or we can select a land use of 80 and the area also can be any size. So the all operator or the all logical operator means only one condition have to be true and we're going to select it. And also if both conditions are true, we are going to select. But with the end, we only select when both conditions are true. So for example, if we have a land use here is 80, 
but we can see that the area is over six six hundred almost one million or so plus. So in this case, the area is greater than four hundred thousand. So we are not going to select it. But if we are using all, since the land use is eighty, we don't care about the size of the area. We still going to sell it. So the questions to consider in this section is how can queries assist us to understand data bearer, and also how can data manipulation support decision making in the context of public health. So again, we will discuss this question in our next class when we meet on campus. Thank you.